Hey everybody, Paul Valancourt here. Welcome back to a, another What Were You Thinking video where we're going to do a scene and then break it down for you guys to watch. And my partner in crime today is uh, Kia McCarty. It was super fun to do this with her. Uh, uh, she did this ding ding this uh, improv tip uh, a little while back so I'll link that so you guys can find that pretty easily um, and also I thought this was such an interesting conversation because uh, she uh, brought my attention to a couple things that I had never really thought about uh, one thing that I'll sort of say sort of towards the middle of the video she talks about how conscious she is of the audience and how that really motivates her work for me that was really a revelation because that's not really the way that I think about it but since uh, speaking with her and sort of hearing sort of how it motivates her it it's really sort of uh it's really got me thinking about that like how much should i be aware of the audience so check it out see what you think um leave comments down below uh, i'll say thank you to kia now um and uh please sit back relax and enjoy myself <laughs> and kia mccarty so we're going to do a scene and then we'll talk about it after our suggestion is ranch <clears throat> Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you really got it, uh, you got it good this time. It's like, whoa! Thanks, it means a lot coming from you. Oh. It really does. Oh, stop. No, I'm serious. I mean, I've been working together for 20 odd years, but uh, I've never told you before. <laughs> you're kind of like my mentor. Secret mentor. You may not even know what you're doing, but you do it. Well, secret mentor, P, P, P. I'm your secret mentor. That's right, Mark, you're my secret mentor. mentor. Pete, you're my secret protege. Marge, I know you're talking to me. I didn't think you thought of me like that. I thought you, oh, Pete, what the heck with Pete? Who cares about Pete? No, no, Pete got it down. It's like every itch, every inch of this inch, and Pete got it down. It's just one of those things. No, I knew, I knew, I knew the second that you walked in. 20 years ago? When you walked into Marge and McCann's, I was like, no, this one got it. This one got it right here. He got it like he's like a cutout. We got it. I, can't, I cannot tell you how many days I went home nervous that I had let you down somehow. Oh, oh that oil change could have been cleaner. Oh, oh that carburetor could have been rebuilt oh. better. Oh, that fan belt could have been tighter. Oh, those are just general nerves. Everybody got that, Pete? Oh, God, every day, oh. every day I come in here, I got it. Oh, man. No, 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 no. You could, Pete. Pete Perjay, Pete Perjay. Good. Oh, oh, thanks. Marjorie Mentor. Marjorie, the mentor! Oh, oh my it's god. Like, I didn't think of that. Mentor. That's perfect. It's that's like that's, <clears throat> that's like kids. Oh, no. Yep, that, you did the checklist, right? You got the checklist done. The checklist yeah, yeah, done. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, the hood, the hood, here, and the here's checklist. Here's the checklist. Done. Bang, 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 bang. Hood. Wow. Wow. Can't sit anyone out here with their hood open, that'd be ridiculous. Right? You talk, if you taught me nothing, you taught me that on the first day. Close the hood at the end. It's like signing a work of art, that's what you say. Exactly. The first that day you said that. That is what it is. That is what cars is. That is what we do. We are artists of a whole different type set. It's like the fluids of the car, transmission fluid and the such. Those are the things that we paint. That is part of the painting, the fluids. That is our paint. I'm so glad you said that. I want to show you something. And I want you to just take it in before you say it. Oh, oh, all right. All right. My drop all cloth. Right. I mean, we, we, we got a couple of minutes. <clears throat> See this drop cloth? That, yeah. All that oil spill? You turn around, I've been making a portrait of you. Oh, my. How the oil drips and drabs. Oh, my God. Hey? Yeah, it's you. It's how I think of you when I first walked in here. It's young you. Sparkling an eye and a, and a generous smile. Wow. Ooh, you use brake fluid for the hair? You know how much of that? I know how much you love brake fluid. Ooh. Oh, it's just the right food. color. Well, how it used to be, you know. Right. I need to get that dyed back round. But hey, look at that. Hey, I, yeah. okay. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. All right, I got you something. Me something? I I got you something. Oh my right. gosh, twenty I, years. I can't. The prototype. I can't. I can't even. Yeah, well, I can't I, even imagine what it might be. I mean, it just to turn around. No. All right. Oh, okay. <sighs> All right. So you know that you mean, huh? You mean a lot to me. Oh, Mark. Oh, and I just want to make sure that you're set because I know that one day you're just going to go and do like Pete's Garage. So, <laughs> there, I don't know. so uh, here you go. Um, oh. I made a hybrid brake fluid for you. Oh I put a patent on it and uh, I put off our name on it. You're going to get 50% of that patent hybrid brake fluid. I, I don't, I can't. You can take that into the work. I don't even know what to say. How much you need? This you know is what? 
This is, this is how much you mean to me. Oh, putting that as part of your hair. That's it. Now, it's not just my portrait. It's our portrait. It's not just my work of art. It's our work of art. Oh, God. You made me proud. You made me proud. <laughs> See. Great. So now we're going to watch the scene back and talk about a little bit of what we were thinking as we were doing it. Here we go. Here's the beginning. A little bit lead up. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do a scene and then so we're introducing it. Now. Our suggestion, suggestion is wrench. Yeah. So right out of the gate, go. Oh, okay. So, um, you know, uh, A to C thinking and, and such. So I thought wrench, which made me think of uh, Mario Brothers. Oh. Uh, yeah. So put me kind of in a, a video game esque aspect. Now you play head. a lot of video games. Right? I play a lot of video games. So this is this is great because <laughs> this relates very directly to the tip that you gave, which I will link uh, to, to to this video, so you can see sort of this is very much you're playing exactly how you the tip you gave. Yeah, yeah. Great. So so from that point, I was like, oh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be something that kind of reminds me of Mario in some way. Oh, great. So so that, that inspired the flavor of your character. Exactly. Oh, that's really great. That's really great. I um. I thought wrench, and so obviously I thought auto mechanic, and I just sort of dug into um, the the wear, the physicality. I feel like if if I don't, I know for myself as a player, if I don't sort of engage the wear early, it's hard. It's harder for me to get to it through all the words. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Once I, I start talking, talking, I have a hard time getting to it. So I like to sort of, if I can, early on establish a little bit of that. So we're, so we're somewhere. That's that's kind of what I was thinking, and that sort of comes up here. So start with the hood, and using a wrench. See what I did there? <laughs> yeah. Nice. I, and right out of the gate, I love this, uh, I love this sort of a very bold physicality that you struck. It was like, oh, okay, that's some, I like that. Uh, we we're talking sort of before we started shooting about, um, about specificity. Yeah. And I think it's really, go, go ahead. Yeah, um, for that, that was uh, my version of a standing superhero landing. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> because like, for instance, like Mario Odyssey and, and a lot of Mario things, like they have a lot of action poses. Mm -hmm. So my, my first thought was like, okay, this is this character. Great. So cool, yeah. and I like it because it, it for me when I was sort of like I'm working, but I'm sort of like taking you in a little bit, and I'm mm -hmm. thinking like you seem very um, sure of yourself, very solid because of that pose. So I'm sort of taking in that vibe a little bit, and that, that sort of influences where. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you really got it. Uh, you got it good this time. It's like whoa. <laughs> that was a Thanks. Mario sound yeah. in my head. Nice. By the way, that's great. <laughs> Right, and it's great, and you, and you sort of came in with that with that first little bit of like you really got it. So that already to me, that sort of setting up our status a little bit, because you wouldn't say that to your superior, right? right. You, so okay, now I get it. Okay, she's a little bit. So I'm thinking, oh, like, she's like my boss, or she's like my. I look up to her in some way. Oh, here I was just like being like a super inspirational, <laughs> doing like you know. Right, and that's, but but that's it. We sort of each have our own sort of reads of it, and I think sort of ideally, you sort of start with your thing, and you sort of the scene, you come together and discover it together. You know, but make the choice. It really does. Oh, stop. No, I'm serious. I mean, I've been working together for twenty odd years, but uh, I've never told you before. <laughs> You're kind of like my mentor. Great. So at that point, like I sort of felt like you were sort of above me, so I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna specify or define mm -hmm. that relationship a little bit more and sort of amp that up with some details. We've been working together 20 years, I've never told you before, but here's the day. Sometimes in improv, mm -hmm. to make the scene a little bit more, uh, happen a little bit more, we sort of say, what makes this day special, right? Yeah. So, so in this case, I think what makes the day special is, is I finally uh, announce or sort of say my feelings for you. Yes, and I, I love in particular like the relationship of these two. Like with you saying that with like, oh, uh, you know, past 20 years and because of the accent that you had, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, so this is regional, this is rural. Mm. I'm already picturing this garage yeah. that we're in. Uh, probably like at the most, like what, maybe two, three bays that they have. Yeah. This is a smaller town and they definitely know each other. This is a small town feel. Yeah, so, so do you feel like... Um, do you feel like that one specific like leads to another specific? Oh, to another? Yeah. So with that specific voice, we sort of adopted those sort of things. Then that sort of, in your mind, sort of leads you to fill in some other details. Right. Great. Secret mentor. You may not even know what you're doing, but you do it. Well, secret mentor. P. 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 I'm your secret mentor. That's right, Mark. You're secret my secret mentor. mentor. What? <laughs> P. P. You're my secret protege. More generous <laughs> Great, nice. And so that just sort of fills in the other piece of the equation. A plus B. Now we sort of know, okay, great. And they both have these secret, these secrets that they're kind of like, it's all bubbling out now, 20 years, 20 years down the line. 
right? And it's great. Yeah. And you sort of say it. And what I love about the way that you say it is, is it, it, um, it costs you a little something to say it. You know what I'm saying? It's not just like, oh, and you're my blah, blah. It's like, uh, you're uh, 20 years of resistance, you finally overcome it, kind of he sort of starts the ball rolling and then you're able to overcome this resistance. And I think that's really, that's that's acting. I think sometimes we don't, or improvisers don't think of themselves as actors. Oh yeah. You know, but they are. And that, that tension or that like, why hasn't she said it up till now? And there's like, now it costs you something to say it, but the yield is so much greater, right? It's really, yes. it's really nice. That's one of the things I really, uh, like about your about about watching you play is that it has like a, a little bit more depth than sort of like just just improv and jokey joke. You know, it has like a little bit more depth to it, which I which I see I see in that moment. Like, yeah. what do you think? I, I like it. I think uh, I like that reveals the get reveals. Yes. Kind of a thing, and and then also you know something that I, I keep in my mind, and and another reason why you'll see me like moving around a lot of uh -huh. like looking around in the space is because I do audience reads like while oh, while I'm playing. So you're really conscious of the audience. Yeah, I, oh. I like to read the room. That's interesting. I, I do because um, one of the things that I think about a lot when um, I'm on stage, um, like so much that it's just like back burner now. It's like. Um, how would I feel if I was watching this? It's like, why oh, would I watch wow. this? What do I want to see? What do I want to play? Interesting. You know, it's it's like because it's 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 not just the people on stage. Uh -huh. It's like it literally is all connected. The right. people that are watching, I feel, are just about as important as the people that are on stage sure. because we're doing it for them and they're here for us. Right. I think so. sort of as as an audience member, when I'm watching something and I feel like the the players are having more fun than we are in the audience, I'm like, what's going? on? I'm like, why am I watching this? But that's super interesting because when I'm on stage, I, I almost like go into like a haze and I don't really, unless something really big happens, I don't totally think about the audience. That's, but that's interesting that you're sort of conscious and that's sort of, you feel like that sort of like raises the level, the level of your work because you're sort of like, let's make it worth more. Yeah. yeah it's like, let's make this fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. That's super yeah. interesting. Don't be like that. I thought you all oh, Pete. What the heck with Pete? Who cares about Pete? No. No, Pete got it down. It's like every itch, every itch is itching. Pete got it down. It's just one of those things. No, I knew, I knew, I knew the second that you walked in. 20 years ago? When you walked in the March of the Cash, I was like, no, this one got it. This one got it right here. He got it like, he's like, cut out, got it. Oh, and I, was like, I cannot tell you how many days I went home nervous that I had let you down somehow. Nice, yeah. So I, I like this, when, when you said that part, I think that's really interesting because a lot of times in a scene we say, oh, don't talk about the past or whatever. But I think this really sort of like really deepens everything that's happening. Like, oh gosh, she knew it from the very first day. That's really such a great detail. So then, okay, so then I think when I hear that detail coming in, I think, well, what is my sort of long view been? Ah, I like that. Right? And so then my long view, so your long view, you thought that my long view then seems like, oh, I really wanted to live up to this feeling I had for you and I, and I didn't know. Oh, you and a little vulnerability. Yeah, the reason why I said that was because I kind of wanted to pile on top of um, they've been working together for 20 years yeah, yeah. and she hasn't told him this yeah. like, at all. It's like, what's something else that she hasn't told him? Oh, that's great. You know, um, so, so back to what you said earlier about reveals, we get reveals. Exactly. So then I, I at this point, mm -hmm. I had it in my head where it's like, okay, I'm going to have to like keep on piling it on to make it like even bigger. All these things that she's doing um, like in the background that she never told him. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's super interesting. Okay. Oh, oh that oil change could have been cleaner. Oh, oh that carburetor could have been rebuilt oh. better. Oh, that fan belt could have been tighter. Oh, those are just general nerves. Everybody got that, Pete? Oh, got it every oh. day. Every day I come in here, I got it. Oh, man. No. No, no, no. You could, Pete. Pete Project, Pete Project. <laughs> Marjorie Mentor. Marjorie the Mentor! Oh, oh my god. It's like, I didn't think of that. Mentor. That's and that was just like a happy accident. I think that was like, that's like when you're in a scene and like that little happy accident happens, like, gosh darn it, it, it does work. It does come around, you know? Just, I think that's, to me, I, what I really love about that moment was like, I'm just listening to you, listening to you, and then I'm sort of like, oh, Pete, Pete, that's interesting. Oh, right, hold on a second. And you're sort of like, just being sort of in the moment, I think is it. Just being in the moment, taking the information as it, and being open to, to possibilities. I, I think, for me, what that what I feel about that, or what that illustrates to me, is like, is like not necessarily thinking about where this scene's going. Oh yeah. Thinking like where we're at, 
and you sort of discover that and then that leads to my discovery or we're just like in the moment open to discoveries. Exactly. I, I love like uh, the listening because it, it's just like um, <laughs> at literally at that point with like what I was thinking um, was that um, I, I was like, oh, I need to generate something more. So then I started saying your name and that's why I was like Pete, Pete, protege, protege, Pete, you know, that kind oh, that's of thing. that's great. So yeah, I was just like. Yeah, I think that's really, that's really interesting and it's sort of, it just deepens the, it deepens our stories more and sort of even going back a little bit to your, your 20 years ago I saw this and like, oh me, all the way along this. What I like about that is it, 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 it sets the scene in time, in a world. It doesn't, sometimes improv scenes just exist in a bubble of their own ah. separate reality, right? Mm -hmm. But now I feel like, oh, this is like a, it has like a timeline that it exists on. Like, oh, look at all these things. And moving forward, like deeper into a piece, let's say, I feel like we could see that first day scene. Yeah. Or we could see 20 more years down the line or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, if we had done a first day of this, uh, my character would have been rancid towards you. Sure, like, of course. Like, you don't know. Crap! Absolutely. <laughs> like, and I think- and then I just walks in here. Right, I think my guy would have been much more brazen, like, I know about, I'll tell you about cars, whatever. And it's like, bang, bang, bang. But really, I think yeah. it's, yeah, because you sort of, you sort of say here, and like, what's the distance they had to travel forward or backward from there? Yeah, but I think it's sort of, uh, sort of, back to specificity, what it does is, is it sort of like, it sets up those, oh, we could play against that. If you don't have a specific something to play, you don't have anything to play against. Yes. Or to play with, forward or backward in time, or whatever, tag outs or whatever. Perfect, that's like, 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 that's Great. I love the checklist. That's another like mentoring thing for me. And that leads me to pull out this physical checklist. I always try to, in my work, and I've said this before in other things, but I think sort of what I love in improv is when it seems like it's real. It's mm -hmm. like has this sort of uh, appearance or sort of like hearkening back to things that are real. And in real life, we might have a check. We deal yeah. with things. We touch things physical things and sometimes in improv we have the instinct to just say funny stuff to each other yeah, right yeah. so i try to like re-engage the wear re-engage the wear in different ways yeah and i i really liked because like when you did that and like pulled out like a like you had an actual physical paper uh that made me think um oh yeah, uh, he carries that on him, but Marjorie's probably also got it on the wall. Oh yeah, too. So it's like that. That just added another like layer for me, and I think that probably inspired me a little bit because like doing like even just like a rollout like that, that that triggers something. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why I started going down the artist route with things. Because instead of like folding it, he had rolled it up somehow like a scroll so that like vibed you in a different way. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. And I love that. I love having that. I love having like a physical artifact that shows that thing because it takes something that's like an idea and r relates it to the physical and also what else is on that checklist. Like we didn't explore it necessarily in this scene, but what else is on that checklist? Is it something about you? Something about me? Something about how he deals with the world? Does he have like a life checklist? Like yeah. it's something it he, opens up possibility. A habitual list lister, you totally. know, kind of a thing. So. Right. It sort of opens up possibilities because there's this thing now that exists. I'm not being taught me that on the first day. Close the hood at the end. It's like signing a work of art. That's what you said. Exactly. Right, so then we're sort of like, so we're sort of doubling down on this. We're mechanics are artists yes. idea, which I, I rather like. It's for super fun. what we do. We are artists of a whole different type set. It's like the fluids of the car, transmission fluid in the sun. Those are the things that we paint. That is part of the painting, the fluids. That is our paint. Right, so this whole thing is like, this is like, it just like reels out piece by piece by piece. We said this, and then the artist thing, and then we're doubling down on that, and then you're blowing that up bigger and bigger, and you're saying the fluids are our, that's how we expect, and then that's where I sort of think of the next thing of this painting. Yeah. Because like, I don't, here's the thing, you don't come into a scene with something like that in your <laughs> mind, like, I'm gonna have a painting, blah, 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 right? I didn't think anything of that, but that one thing, being, being least in that, but it's all specific, specific, specifics, I think really drives a lot of that creativity, yes. right? Yes, and I and <laughs> I was very in love with the idea after you like bring out the painting thing of, of these two small town mechanics, like this protege mentor relationship, and then it's like they take their mechanistry to a whole other level where it's just like, yeah, I'm painting what break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you know what? Yeah, New York galleries could buy that. <laughs> For sure, and it's also I also sort of like it's like their. Uh, 
um, not to be too pretentious, but it's their milieu, right? If they yeah. exist as mechanics, so these are the things they have around them. And I think this is, and not to go too deep, but I think this is a metaphor for the whole thing of, of, of using the wear is like, you lay out, we exist in this world. Here's our tools, here's our colors, here's our, our, our paint or medium. And then this is how we use it in this way. Because, because a, a, a mentor thing, a mentor uh, protege thing between two scientists would play out with different tools or yeah. incarnate in another different specific way. Yes, absolutely. And I'm, I'm, I really enjoy like how positive these two people are too. Yeah. You know, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, thinking about it like this, this entire thing, which is why, um, if we did like a second, third or even a fourth, so, Ooh. you know, be with this, it would be a completely different dynamic. Like, I mean, yeah. it would be like still, still this, but it might not be as Positive. Right. Yeah. Um, what if What I if he have did so much fun with that? Yeah, because like the, there's so much positivity here. Like, what if he uh, didn't uh, close a hood mm -hmm. one time, or what if he there didn't been... whatever? Right. Yeah. And then it's like, well, how do they how do they deal with this catastrophic <laughs> thing in their relationship? Yeah, that's a great idea. That's great, and I think that's those specifics. I think are what allow it to project forward and backward in time. Is mm -hmm. like you have this really clear. Uh, Sounding board, it's really clear anchor. I want to show you something, and I want you to just take it in for a second. Oh, oh, okay. My drop ball. All right. I mean, we 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 got a couple of minutes. See this drop ball? All that oil spill. Turn around. I'm making a portrait of you. Oh my. Got the oil drips. This is weird because, like, I'm sort of thinking of I'm sort of thinking of your tip of like everything in your life is up for grabs, linked. And, and it reminded me of when I was in college, we had an art fair on our, uh, this is so weird, we had an art fair on our big quad, and there was a guy who would paint, and he painted with two brushes, like paint, 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 paint. And you're like, what the hell is that? And at the end, he would turn it upside down, and it was like, that's Albert Einstein, oh my God. And that's what it made me think of, because I'm like putting this out, and you don't immediately recognize it as yourself, because you don't know. And then, and then I turn it around, and then boom, there it, is. it all sort of comes into focus that moment. But that's like me using my, I love my real life there. I love that. Right? Yeah. And then it's sort of like, what's your reaction to this? Oh my God, hey? Yeah, it's you. It's how I think of you when I first walked in here. It's young you. Sparkling eye. It's and young you. Generous smile. <laughs> Ooh, you use brake fluid for the hair? You know how much of that? I know how much you love I love that. I love that thing because now you're in on it too. Yeah. We're both sort of dealing with this physical thing, and that's when a, a physical thing or something in the space really takes on its reality is when two people. Yes. Like if I put a coffee cup down and then you, hey, this coffee cup, then that becomes super real because both of us have dealt with this. Yeah. And it exists in both of us. Yeah. No, that's really fun. Yeah. The agreement that's going on here. And I, um, um, I see now that it wasn't as apparent as I thought it was. Um, I sniffed the painting and then that's no, how I, 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 I see it now. I didn't see it when we were doing it, but I definitely see it now. And that's great because that has a whole nother um, sense to it because usually we just work on touch and sound and that's it and then now mm -hmm. it's like oh gosh look at that it yeah. smells in it Great. no that's it's really like it's like a, i'm i'm not certain what brake fluid smells like i don't <laughs> i don't know but in my head right. a small town mechanic does know for sure <laughs> which is why because in, in my head also i was like oh, okay um well this is this is dried what he's done um and you know i i forget if you said that you no, you said then i use brake fluid for the hair no you said you you said that idea oh, I said which, that. Is, which okay. is what i love because it's okay. like i say this That's you say yes it. and there's this yeah which i think is so interesting um it's like a oh, small town mechanic would know what brake fluid smelled like right. and i feel like just really quick i think that like that sort of like a lot of times i tell my students about space work is it doesn't really matter exactly what it is if you're committed to it then we're committed to it if you believe it we believe it and we don't know exactly what you're smelling but we believe that you're smelling it so like okay we'll go, we'll go down that road with you right and we'll see where that is i think that's super interesting um and yeah so now we're both in on this painting i i also was thinking oh it's it's a painting but then i thought well we're sort of talking a lot about the time the time so i think it's the painting of you from the first day 20 years, so just like adding a little bit, so sort of keeping this sort of like long term idea alive a little bit. Just yes, and just break fluid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I need to get that dye back out. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want All right, I got this one. Make some? I got this Oh my god, 20 years. I can't. I can't even, yeah, I can't even imagine what it might be. I mean, it just, just turn around. Okay. Okay. All right, so 
Okay. Okay. So at this point, you sort of lean, you sort of like say, "Oh, I, I got you something, right?" Yeah. And I'm like, "I can't even imagine what it might be." So I'm like, "I'm totally <laughs> open to." Because I remember, I'm thinking like, I, "I don't know. logically, I don't really know what it, it could be anything." So I'm like, "I'm just being honest in, in the moment. I cannot imagine what it might be." But then you go. So when do you know? This is, I'm always sort of curious about okay. when, when people are working the, the thing. When did you know it was very fluid? Uh, at the moment that I had a handle and put my other hand underneath it. Up until that moment, I had no idea. That's so interesting. So you reach out into the space yeah. and then you grab this thing that turns out to be brake fluid. Yeah, where it was a hybrid brake fluid that she had patented and put both of their names on it. <laughs> so, but until I, I knew that she had got him something mm -hmm. um, and I just, I, I didn't stress. I was just like, yeah, no, it's definitely going to be something, and I know it's there. I've been in this scene too. Uh, we're both on the same yeah. page. I'm going to reach out here, and it's going to and it's going to come. Yeah. And then and then that's. And what let, it let, let, let me ask you this: You sort of throw out this big line, and then you reel in um, brake fluid. Do you feel like you do that in your work sometimes? And you sort of like throw out this. You sort of challenge yourself. Like if I say I'm going to like my next thing is I'm going to make a big speech. <sighs> Here it comes. You know, do, do you feel like you throw out a big line to challenge yes. it, to draw yourself forward in the scene? Yes, yes, absolutely. That, and then it's like, it just, it makes sense. It's what the scene needs. Yes. Um, and it's, it's like, and you know what? No matter what, it's going to be there. Because by this point in anything, you've gotten out of your own way. Sure. So it's, it's going to be there. And if it wasn't, and if there wasn't something, some grand thing, then that still gives your character something where it's just like, Oh, I did this thing and I made this drop cloth and I'm like, here's half of my lunch. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> that, that's totally something. Or even that's if you even too. if you turn around and you sort of don't have something, you set it down, something down, mm -hmm. then you sort of give we as improvisers, we lock eyes and you're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll say something then. You know, we start figuring it out together. But you, you come up with this great thing. It's like, what I love about it is, it's a gift. It's something personal. It's in there merely you. I said that again. I can't believe it. But it's and it's also sort of something just like I always tell students, like, say something about what that person just said. We just said brake fluid, and now it's about brake fluid. And it's sort of like, oh gosh, look how this one idea leads to the next. Oh, you mean a lot to me. But I just want to make sure that you're set because I know that one day you're just gonna go and do like Pete's Garage. So, so uh, here you go. Uh, I made a hybrid brake fluid for you. I put a patent on it, and uh, I put. Right. right, so it's like this little fraction of a second where you set it down and I see it. It looks, in my mind, it looks like a little cooler that we have, like a little thermos cooler. Mm -hmm. It has like a handle on top and it's like cylindrical. So I see that. I don't know what it is, but I know it's something important. So uh, right now I'm thinking, well, I don't know what it is as a player, but as a character, <gasps> emotionally, I have to have a reaction to it. So I like lean on that first. And then right away you say it, but it's like a fraction of a second where you sort of decide you want to sort of, I think, be like in motion the whole time. Like mm -hmm. when you see, sometimes you see it like in a bad mood where it's like, and the scene starts, and then the extras start moving, right? <laughs> you sort of want to be in motion. So I'm like, I'll stay, I'll just follow the emotional arc that we've been describing and see where this goes. And then you'll fill in, or we'll fill in the details. But I think the thing that sort of throw, that sort of bring, draws us through is the human or the emotional element, right? Yeah. So I, I choose to have sort of a big reaction to it, like a positive reaction since that's kind of the road we're going down. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I mean, um, I, I, I for for like my thought process for this, like um, after I set it down, I remember thinking that uh, I hope this is the right weight <laughs> for brake fluid because right. um, um, because I, I also realized that when I was setting it down, I was like, oh, I because I do a lot of coolant, like like so oh. coolant fluid I know, and I think brake fluid might be smaller. I think it might be like this, but it's a hybrid. Right, sure, it's a, it's a, it's a new thing. Yeah, drum of it. So, but yeah, um, I I purposely slowed down what I was saying. Because I, because uh, in my head I was like, oh, um, I've got this regional accent. <laughs> Whether I'm doing it right or not, oh, I'm doing it perfectly. This is what Marge, Margie sounds like. <laughs> exactly, that's what she sounds like. Yeah. So then I, I slowed it down because I was like, I, I want him to be able to hear what I'm saying, and yeah. I want to make sure that I'm saying it right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's why that was like a, and then, yes, but then also the emotion. <laughs> right, for sure. And it's so funny because like we're, you're as an improviser, I think you're constantly reading your partner. And you're reading what they're putting out and what they don't even know they're putting out. So when you slow it down, to me, that reads as like, oh, it's a grand thing. Even though you're just trying to be clear, 
to me, it's like, oh, it's like a, it's a pronouncement or almost, you know? Yeah. Ah, oh, and then um, something about like pulling from your own life. Um, I do a lot of freelancing. And then uh -huh. uh, one of the contracts that I was reading was this whole thing. Oh, if you uh, patent anything, um, I don't, uh, we get 60% of it. So that's why patents were on that's my... That's super interesting, right? Patents were on my brain. Yeah, I totally so. think that like improv is like truth, truth serum. And mm. whatever you're sort of like percolating in the back of your mind, that comes out. Mm -hmm. Like I, I discovered that early on in my improv career. At least for me, that was. I don't, I can't even. Take that from one? I don't know what to say. Sound like you. Sound like you. This is what this is. This is how much you mean to me. Putting that, it's part of your hair. That's it now. It's not just my work. It's not just my work. Right, it's just like any sort of physical thing, physical thing in a scene. It doesn't mean anything until you tell us, each other, or the audience, what does it mean? To this, this means everything. Yeah. This crazy thing of me like sprinkling great <laughs> fluid on a drop cloth portrait I've done of you. But to these two people, it means something. So then it's invested to the audience. You're like, yeah. oh, like Rosebud. You know, the rose it's just a sled until you find out at the end, oh my god. You know, uh, not that this is Citizen King, but I'm serious. But I'm no, it kinda <laughs> is. <laughs> um, but I think I think it's that same that same dynamic of like of like you're investing it with with emotion and so that means something and i also like that it sort of like brings i was thinking oh i'm going to use it to sort of uh, to handle it make it more real and then also just to sort of unite us like yeah. your break fluid and my portrait they're the same thing we're together it's like sort of a metaphor of us as a as a pair in this scene yeah uh, i just love how uh, how final scene this is <laughs> yeah it's all for one and you amp up the emotion <laughs> Great. And I, I love how it just like finally, it finally crescendos and you're crying and then I'm crying. There's just these two people like standing in a garage crying. Like if someone happened upon the scene, they'd be like, what in the world? It's like, oh, well, Margie and Pete in there crying. Yeah, I was going to, you know, get my transmission fluid topped off. I'm going to give them a moment. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for yeah. doing this. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we're, I'm going to link up some videos at the end here. And, uh, and please uh, check them out and please tune in next time. Thanks. Hey friends, thanks for checking out the video, and uh, if you want to hear a little bit more, check out one of these two quality videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links are in the description down below, and let me know what you would like to see an improv tip about. Thanks for watching.